Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 203, 203. And this is a continuation of the series of decoding data off of your shortwave radio. And tonight I want to try to decode some weather facts maps. Now, this is a PDF file that's on the internet that gives you a listing of all the stations throughout the world that broadcast HF facts. And they originally were uh, broadcast, I believe, for ships at sea to provide them weather information. And they could use their shortwave radio. Uh, actually, it was, a it was a radio specific for facts and uh, receive these weather maps uh, via the HF shortwave band. And I like a lot of things on shortwave. A lot of this is gone now. So a lot of the stations that are listed in this thing are don't lo no longer transmit. So this is, uh, if you do a search on HF space, space facts, FAX schedule, you'll find uh, several locations on the internet that has these schedules. And this is one that has, this is a NOAA.gov page that actually has a PDF of all of these stations. And it provides at the top, <coughs> excuse me, it provides uh, where the station is, this is in New Orleans, and the frequencies that it transmits on. Again, some of these have been dropped off and they don't transmit on the frequencies anymore. But I've got my Grundig 750 radio tuned to this frequency right here, or close to that frequency, 4.3179. And uh, earlier I had um, a good signal coming out of it. And I actually recorded a show showing the weather facts of the satellite image of the weather. But it was so long that my recording program crashed. I wouldn't you know it. Beautiful image, but it crashed. So anyway, I'm going to show you some other uh, maps that should be coming down. And here's the uh, schedule. And right now it's 2, 02, 28 hours. So this one has probably already started right here. It says request for comments and pro uh, that's probably a um, a sheet that you can fill out that uh, you can re give a comment or something else. And next exciting one is at 0245, which is quite a ways away time-wise. So let's go see what's happening. Again, I've got the output of my shortwave radio, uh, the audio output plugged into my computer, and I'm running this program. Uh, this program. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> there it is. And this is the uh, multi-PSK again. Now, this is uh, where I was capturing it a few minutes ago, and I stopped it. And what I had it set up for is I had it set up to automatically synchronize with the transmission. They sent out a sync signal in the beginning that starts the reception, and then they send a sync signal at the end that stops it and this program recognizes it and stops and starts recording and you can also set it up so that it automatically saves those pictures to your hard drive so let's turn the radio back up and see what's going on okay it's not going to automatically start because Transmission. I'm in the middle of one of the transmissions, so I'm going to start. I'm going to turn this synchro off, and then I'm going to. Uh, you can see that it's going to start recording now and decoding. Let me clear the screen up a little bit. Now, since I didn't use the automatic synchro option, the picture is not synchronized with the decoder. So you can see that the, uh, the picture is shifted 
and here is the edge of the picture. Now if I'm in this manual mode, I can use these buttons over here and this button here to correct it. So I'm going to shift that picture over. I have to shift it over several times. You can see it move over. Yep, it went too far. It's way over here now. So let me go back to. And see, so yes, that's it. Okay. Now the other thing that can happen is if it was not automatically synchronized, is it can be on a slant. Again, you can see there's a little bit of slant there. Not much, but a little bit of slant there which I can correct with these slant buttons here. And uh, there comes the uh, transmission, which is, as I indicated, it's text. In this case, it's not a map. And it's doing pretty good at decoding, even on top of my uh, talking over it. So let's go back to the website and the PDF. And again, we're seeing this right here, which is just some text. And at 0245, we'll actually see a map. Or maybe it's not a map. It says high sea forecast. I'm not sure if that's a map or it's more text. Let's go back to the image. And the beauty of this program is that you can tune in the station so you're pretty close and then you just move this bar right here until you get it lined up. Here's the uh, one point of the audio that's sitting and this is the other point. I believe this indicates black and this indicates white and then this is all the, the uh, grayscale in between. So I've got it synced up pretty good right now. Nothing very exciting being transmitted though. And let's see. It tells you here that it's transmitted on 4316, 8502, and 12788. I'm getting it on the 4.316 4 megahertz band. And let's see, it's 2, 0234 hours UTC, so it's going to be a while before a map comes down. So I don't think I'll uh, let this recording go too long because I don't want it to crash again. Um, let's go over a couple little things. Uh, this is where you can manually stop it. This is the auto stop. And I can turn the auto stop on now so that when it gets that sync signal at the end, it will stop decoding and you can save the uh, file. Uh, you can manually stop the recording by hitting this button, RX Stop, Receive Stop. And you can, if you're getting a real bad signal and the uh, grayscale is not working too good, you can click on this button, which is white, black only. And then there's the clear button to clear it. You can print it out. Like I say, you can save it manually or automatically. And you can specify the format of the file. So I think this one should be, let's see, I don't know how long this one is. If we're back to back, let's go back to schedule. And see, it doesn't tell you when they stop, it just tells you when the next one starts. So they could, this could last up to 0245, but I don't think so. Usually they're about 10 minutes. And this one started at 0225, so that would be 35, which it's approximately there now. Let's see if it's going to stop. And it's still transmitting. And like I say, you can get these uh, weather maps and the satellite images. You can get those off the internet. And 
perfectly crystal clear, but you mi miss the fun of getting them off of your shortwave radio. That's the beauty of it, just being able to do that. And, uh, of course, like I say, many years ago when they started this, this was for mainly for um, ships at sea. And uh, they couldn't, back then, they didn't have the Internet, so they couldn't get those pictures. And this is how they got them, through uh, HF transmission. So I think we're about to finish up on this particular image. Like I can say, there's still quite a few. Unfortunately, this listing is out of date. Uh, matter of fact, it says that this was is good until April 3rd, 2012. And what I noticed, the one I usually used to listen to was uh, a frequency of 8.5039. And I tuned to that tonight. And it was weather information, but it was voice. So there was no facts coming out at all. So that's been discontinued as far as facts. But I did find it in, on the 4317. And I did have earlier, I had uh, facts coming in out of the Honolulu, Honolulu, uh, Hawaii station. And of course it was really weak and snowy. You know, not the, the map was hardly recognizable. Okay, let's see if this one's finished. Nope, still coming out. I wonder if it's going to run to uh, 0245. Actually, it's not very exciting, so I may stop it anyway at any minute. So anyway, um, you are capable to do this. It takes a shortwave radio, the audio output from the shortwave radio into your computer line input or mic input. Uh, this program called Multi PSK, which is, has two versions, a free version and a paid version. And you can decode these uh, facts with their facts and show them to your buddies. Isn't that exciting? Okay. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.